you see where you're going? Natalie yeah. doesn't know where she's going. That's part of the exercise of back and forth. So you're kind of making a straight line and you follow it. And all those exercises is to make sure that you're not walking with the dog. The dog is walking with you because if I just let you walk, um, you are going to walk right with the dog. And it's going to look great, but it's not going to be any kind of work. So in this case, obviously she can't follow the straight line. Natalie, well, trying to follow the straight line. But at least it's uh, better than if Luna would follow that. So that's how we roll here as far as that goes. So this way I'm making sure that you're actually healing with the dog. I mean, dog is healing with you, not you healing with the dog. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, there you go. That's enough. Now this is exercise with her is extremely important because anything that you drop or or throw or anything that's on the counter or whatever that belongs to her which is the same behavior as you practice in here so we are going to set up your countertops uh, while we're doing the training because that's what you have a biggest problem with is everything in that house is hers so we're gonna have to change her mind all around that um, anything that we drop, anything that we eat, anything that um, we strategically put on the counters, on the floor, or anything. She always has to ask, this is pointless if she is not watching you. So just wait until she's done it. Whatever, she's in, she is entitled to lick herself if she wants to. Okay, but there you go because it's really um, the whole mind changing thing for her that she is not actually the most important thing on the planet Earth. Okay. That's good. Good does not mean that she can have it either. So that's the stuff that we need to work on your language. And that's why you need to come up for group classes and stuff just so we work on your language and you will work on your skills because the skills you had before is going to lead you to problems, unfortunately. So um, we need you to be here at least sometimes so we can definitely uh, work on your skills once she comes back. both. That's not how you close the crate.
with her we will be waiting much more extra because she is very good in the crate now and uh, we just have to show it to you so and she is perfectly fine and comfortable and all that stuff but because she used to she's not used to being in the crate at all and she had a problems with it um, we will make sure that we'll keep running this however the crate behavior that you see in this video that's exactly how it should have should been um, should be every single day and I mean it every single day if it's any different if she is pulling at it and getting out if she is barking and getting out if she is scratching or biting the crate and getting out if she is pushing the crate and getting out you're gonna have the same problems you had before and you're gonna have an injured dog um, the only way that she gets out of that crate is the way you're gonna see it once we finish this video that's the only way and you got have to work on this every single time that is not a maybe behavior that's everyday behavior normally we don't run it that long but i will obviously we can't sit here and do the video for hours but that's the basic of unusual crate as well we specifically put it just uh, in our traveling crate we put it out and just do a video in it because she has not been in it since we actually brought her um, to uh, from you here going to ask you if you are using the wire crates as such as that you have several dog clips on the door um, we will show you where and how and uh, also just like what we have the zip ties on pretty much every corner of that crate that's what it should be on yours as well there should be no way of pushing that and uh, sacrificing the um, stability of that crate if that's the crate you're going to be using which is fine before I thought you needed a different crate but you don't now if you're going to allow her again I have to repeat that if you're going to allow her to push her way out of this crate she will push her way out of this crate so she's taught differently that's why we took our time and did four weeks but it really is important for you to keep it because you're the one who creates anxieties without even realizing it because you allow anxieties to open physical doors and uh, well it's been five minutes so um let's just and there was a puppy in there so she's licking that um go ahead and continue forgetting something what goes on the dog first no in this setup that's what goes on the dog first
right there, I'll just to come with you. Can you try to walk my direction more? There you go. And still go my direction. But, because that way we can see exactly what you're doing. Excellent, you're done. That was a chewy play, yeah. chewy, great people. Okay, spend a little more time away from her, not that close to her, and not touching her. We're specifically going overboard because that would make it as exciting as we possibly can. But when you're too close to the dog, it, it should get attention. That's too easy. Um, I personally don't like where the place is at your house, um, so I think we need to change that. Okay, it's gonna go bananas here. All she does is just killing that pig. All right, that's good. Thanks. dog in there. It's her. <laughs> so she got better on this this side. ahead of myself. The little ones are talking. Yep.
This is where we get blocked, however it is. Because we go in the stores and they play music and then they block us. I mean, it doesn't affect like the, the customers and all that stuff, but it affects our ratings all the time. Oh, there's kitties over there. There's actual kitties. Oh my goodness, they're babies. <gasps> babies? You see babies? <gasps> you see babies, Luna? Oh my god, they're adorable. Oh, that, that, that one? Oh my god, I would love that one. But I love that color. Oh. black and this one and that one. They're adorable. Oh. Well, I don't know when we're going to do this project, but I think that once I do the first uh, first hour, what is it called? Yeah, they all... Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so little. Yeah, I'm complaining about my Things in my eyes, but mm -hmm. that will make me sick for mm -hmm. <laughs> 24 7. <laughs> they are adorable, though. I mean, they're adorable. Oh, I love this color. Mm -hmm. She's watching them. She's like, they're not as entertaining as birds. <laughs> All right, I think we got to go. <laughs> so the way the whole music is going to be there in the problem. Especially if there's a song from beginning to the end. Oh. We're very much screwed. <laughs> I am sorry. I'm stepping on you. Don't ask, I don't know why it parks over here. <laughs> Alrighty. And we're going to have to look at her because I think she's been trained with Stay. And we're going to get rid of that because Stay is actually implied when you tell the dog down, because if it's not implied, then it makes no sense. What does that mean? It's just drop to the ground and do a push-up? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. always do it from somewhere where the dog can't really good see us or it's further away or whatever that is so just so we're not spoiling her with constantly being in the in the site and for her to worry about looking at us or giving her commands or whatever if we tell her to stay on the place we will come back to her and we will release her from it
on a place she can be without distractions up to 40 minutes. Um, that's what we practiced in the house and outside once she got over all the lizards and birds and all that stuff. So now without distractions, that doesn't consider distraction anymore because she got over that. And the place is easier than the downstay, so um, that's why it's much longer. Obviously, for the purposes of the video, we're not going to do it that long. Anything that we do in the yard is considered without distractions, unless we have other dogs or delivery or something or other other people or whatever but okay. yard is no longer distraction place And what we like to do um, is also go where we can see the dog, but the dog cannot see us. So that way the stay is really difficult. Last we put her right now, there's distance. The distance is usually just for me because there's really no distractions outside of obviously lizards, birds, bugs, um, whatever that you can find on the field. Um, and some of those birds and some of those lizards are really nasty to dogs. <laughs> Um, come up right to them. Well, they're not nasty. They really don't care about it, but um, um, so and as far as the, the her um, expectations of her to be on the place is without distractions. It could be up to 45 minutes. No worries about that. Um, however, with distractions normally um, I do breaks 10-15 minutes. I do the break from that and that's about it. I mean, that's what kind of um uh, and that's like without distractions even in the field right now um it's considered not distractions because we're working on this field so it's really not like your backyard so it's my backyard so it's not really distractions here so what we will do let's say in the uh, pet stores or anywhere we to take her or whatever will be a distraction area because all of that is completely different okay so here i can be as uh, pushy as that um, that amount of time and try to put space in your routine as much as possible um, stay is more difficult than the place so sometimes use a place sometimes you use a stay you can have a several places in your house um, you can have I know you have one over there but I don't like the positioning there um, not for front door that's a good it's not a good position for the front door so we have to change that so when we get there, uh, we will change all that um, because it's not properly positioned there. You can't expect the dog to be to go all the way over there. There's really no point to it. But um, uh, what else I wanted to tell you? Um, yeah, so just put her in your life. Let's say any time that you're preparing the uh, food or doing something that you're pretty much doing it every day. I mean, even if you make a coffee or whatever it is and just put her in a downstay or put her in a place, just put as many uh, routine stays in your routine um, because that will help you to constantly, constantly reiterate and constantly um, use the training that she's got. I'm in danger zone again, uh, Natalie. I'm trying to kill the ant. <laughs> Yeah, last time I was killing the ant, they turned the camera off. 
<laughs> I don't trust myself with killing ants anymore. <laughs> uh, see? And that's how I did it last time. I was so preoccupied <laughs> with the task itself. Uh, so obviously for the video purposes we are doing the five minutes only. Because you really don't want to be sitting here for 45 minutes. <laughs> watching that particular video <laughs> uh, trust me she does not get up get up <laughs> uh, and i'm keep blubbering so you can actually watch it <laughs> thinking i'm going to say something important <laughs> uh. <sighs> but yeah we always do exactly five minutes uh, but a lot of you underestimate your dogs and don't do it as hard as you need to be doing it. Your dog's coming out of here very well trained. So you cannot be underestimating it because what happens is you get a straight A student and you accept C's the whole time and you end up with a D student in the end. So you really need to make sure that you guys follow up with group classes and everything else for that. And that's a five minutes, so go ahead, Natalie. Go get her. Now, please notice we do not micromanage this. Um, we don't tell her what to do. We just assume she's not going to go through the doorway. And that's how we trained her. For the reason for that is that the front door will get left by a service person or you didn't accidentally lock it or whatever that is. There would be nobody by the door telling her what to do, except that she needs to know that open door does not mean she can go through it. And if you practice it all the time, the dog will stay inside no matter what happened with that. You might actually bring you to the door and show that this is abnormal and look at me, I'm standing there. So that's something that is completely opposite to what you taught her prior to. But that's what brings the all um understanding of it again there's no micromanaging being done to the dog at all
Don't go in the sun. Too much sun time you are giving her. I don't want any sun. Just because you in the shade doesn't mean the dog is in the shade. So please look. Uh, too much leash pressure. She's taking her one more time because there's a shiny thing here going. And she's just working that out. So she's trying to jump over that and then... is going to fell out, girl. Yes, your tail is going to just completely break away. Ah, okay. Got it. are sleeping, huh? Yeah. Come on, sweet baby. <gasps> Whose butt is going? Wee 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 wee. <laughs> she loves stretching out on the cold floor, huh? Yep, somebody's working there, girl. Nobody wants to see There you go. No, down. Oh, ah. Um, no. Hey, nope. no lick in the face, the floor. 
two left. No, there's a dog over there. A fork. Thank you. No, she's not. She's good. That's all good. All right, let's go. <laughs> I know, I'm, I was too close to you, that's fine. Um, I, I'm sorry, I don't know, small area. You got kind of stuck. No. Yeah, but I, I had to be very close because of the people behind. Hey, cigarette button over there. And this is something you really have to work out on a group classes because um, she was allowed to approach everybody and every you know everything because you know that's probably what everybody thinks the socialization is but she is really thinks that she needs to approach everybody even though they want it or not it doesn't matter to her she just has to be involved in everything so that needs to be changed um we have started obviously with all of it and she does know how to make a proper choice um, however that really needs to be worked on not everybody wants a dog in their face and not everybody um, she needs to acknowledge necessarily and they need to acknowledge her that's what she thinks is happening every time she see people especially children so being good to children and people is not meaning that we are going to come up and make them um, socialize with us. All right, good girl. He's a good girl. here and she's specifically doing that so she doesn't anticipate with her body language or the fact that she starts to move or whatever that is up too. <laughs>
still kind of dark in here, but we have a rain on and off outside, so. Okay, I need you to hold the foot at once. Okay, press and uh, push the nail. Foot. Good. Okay, put that a thing there. Good. Foot. Okay, so we're going to cut one nail, that one, foot, okay, we're going to go for next nail, and the cut's very small, they were very long when we got, um, when we got her, way too long, uh, food, if you're, you're doing it way too long, so you're going to have to, um, she's dealing with you, so, pay the dog. You can't see anything because of that. I did not tell her to feed the dog. Thank you. Okay, let's go next one. Um, you're not, look at your, um, yes. Can you make sure that thing is outside of the, look at your nail clipper. Could you please make it workable? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. And let's go next nail. No, I'm talking about cutting the oh, next nail. Thank you. I don't understand why she can't read my mind. <laughs> I mean, she's been here long enough to read my mind. Okay, and food. Very nice. Next nail. Now, we started with just doing the one nail at the time, but now we can do... Uh, front feet and then back feet. Back feet is not needed as much, so we're just going to do a, a front feet for that. Um, so is that done, this yeah, foot? Okay, so let's just do a next paw. We're going to manipulate, we're going to hold. And food. Very good. Now you're going to put the pressure on the nail just to make sure. Pressure on the nail. Okay, touch it with the uh, nail clipper. Touch it, touch it and food. She was not the greatest at the nail clipping, so um, that's why we do a lot of extra stuff here. Okay, let's start with the one nail. And food. Another nail. And another nail and another nail and food okay let's do this I get the nails um, eyes and ears and that's it okay I need you to look at it like you're looking at it and food the sloppy ears things a lot of times have infections especially if they're swimming and doing and food okay and then i i good very good food excellent and another food i mean another i good and mouth oh brand new teeth is over there and food Okay, we're done. Um, you can uh, grab your brush and just kind of run the brush. Um, she didn't have a problem with that, but uh, yeah, she never had a problem with that. That's a wrong brush for the Weimar runner, but that's okay. Alrighty, that's okay. It's a wrong brush so anyway, so. We all done, all done, all done.
Just spit it out, just to... Uh-huh. Because yeah. Umka will find it. <laughs> been listening to you since you came back? Um, no, Luna, down. Um, oh, you had to work it out. I had to work out. Uh, okay. Uh, hug. No hug. I can't see it. Good. Oh, hold it. Very nice. Look around. Good girl, Luna. Luna, come. Good girl. Who's that good girl? Dee 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 dee. Very good girl. Good. Good. Okay. the collar. Good. Okay. Come. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Oh, that's a good girl. Okay. Tom? Good girl. No padding. Okay.
okay? You can do one more just to get out of reposition there. Come. Good. Good. Okay. was very important the fact that she did not jump until Natalie said okay and uh, all these kisses is a bonus all that is a good thing um, before you do this I would like you to tell her down please down because it's much more comfortable for everybody. Um, Natalie just didn't know that was a possibility. <laughs> so um, that's how she's been driving outside of the fact that um, we put her sometimes in a crate. It just depends on what we're doing and where we're going. And um, this is going to help us uh, while we're driving that there's something going on or whatever it is that we need to communicate with the dog that's going to be here okay available to you as far as that goes um, obviously she can um, she can get up uh, get up I'm sorry and um, you know she can move around um, that harness and um, it's pretty general harness however it shouldn't be the comfort harness because that's my actually um, hurt the dog because comfort harnesses is not meant for impact and it might actually go completely off the dog when it's needed and as also as you notice we are using the, the seat belt that's a dog seat belt it does not require human seat belt at all um, so in this case she's not getting all tangled between the human seat belt and the dog seat belt and all that stuff okay so it just goes straight to the seat belt um, that's whatever it is, the entrance or whatever you want to call it. Um, all right, Natalie, and let's go show how we get out. So when you get out, um, just the same thing. She's not pushing. She's not doing anything. So um, you pull this, this thing out. You unhook her. And because she's a large dog, she is not, and she's a puppy, she is really not allowed to jump out, so Natalie will help her down because that's what you should be doing at least until a year old. Sometimes we recommend a year and a half with all this long-legged breed. All right, so that should help. Um, if you need a help with the harness pickup or whatever it is, just let me know. Those harnesses are very, very cheap and available. However, people just make mistakes of getting like comfort harnesses and all that not really a good quality um, stuff. Alrighty.
Now you will see some videos when we do the trees to pretty much the whole video and you will see some videos that we don't use treats at all and in your dog's case um, the random reinforcement stuff is very important um, and we will absolutely discuss how we would like you to manage her as far as that so there will be um, some a lot of treats sometimes it will be nothing and um, we'll have to discuss the whole thing about it so but in this case you see that every time she does it right she gets a treat um, if that is all you're gonna do with her um, you're gonna get her back to where she was when she expected uh, reward every single time so we'll put her on a very dif different uh, schedule of reinforcement um, which we will share with you when we uh, get to your lessons and um, that seems to work a hell of a much better for her and uh, she's responding very well to it That was a chewy piece, man. We're still chewing it. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it. Some some of them have that fat, whatever it is, pots, and once it gets on the tooth and doesn't get off. <laughs> That's funny. Well, you gotta give her another one to flush out the first one. <laughs> You're on the borderline when you shouldn't give her treats for that kind of down. Which was okay in the beginning of the training is not okay now. Now you notice the position now, this is a proper position. The position before was a kind of borderline not proper and in front of you and pushy. And we don't need that, none of that. You should be able to walk away from a dog and not trip over the dog. Down. Stay borderlining. Pet her, you can tell her good, you can pet her, just do not give a treat for borderline behaviors. Like you can't say it's completely wrong, but you also can't say it's completely. And now she's literally pushing you to give her a treat and be cute and be talked to. So continue. Well, I almost wanted to finish the exercise, but we're not going to because that's what she's doing now. That is, she wants to finish the session. Unfortunately, you can't let her make that decision and finish the session for you. Now this was perfect. She's going to get a treat and she's going to get a petting and actually she is all together done because uh, she didn't repeat it. She didn't stay there. Um, she redeemed herself, did everything right. And uh, please don't allow her. I got it. Don't worry. All right. And let's go.
yellow sign. What should I do? Oh, there's chickens in there. Oh, there's big chickens in there. Oh, I. Oh, yay! I see. Very nice, Shirley. Are they going after her? I didn't notice. Oh, sure. Ah, oh, maybe. Are they trying to see her? Yeah. Huh, I didn't even see. And these are guys are all so, so fly. I know, they're flying, flying, flying. It's a crazy big girl. Big girl. Too bad that meal worms are so expensive. My chickens would love them. Oh, yeah. They'll just die for it. Oh, these are so active. Look at them. Mm -hmm. Drama, man. Drama. Yeah. Lots of drama everywhere. I know, girl. They're just like. Everybody's going nuts. They're staring at her from over there. Yeah. She can she try to see her. <laughs> She's all amazed. Look at her. It's a, a TV TV station for the. Luna's TV set. Yeah, Watch them fly. Like there, 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 there. Yes, they're everywhere. Yeah, she's like, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is hilarious. Is there a silky thing? Some of them. Yeah, there's different What are you so all about? <laughs> She's very much into things. Uh-huh. All right, well, we can stay here all day, but video cannot last all day. And yes, because these, there you go. That's okay. She likes to jump over things, but that does not excuse the, um, Excuse the run in the front of you and break in the heel. So every time there's that um, shiny thing, she just needs to step over it, not jump over it. But that will.
other side. Smell her things in here. Thank you. And open. No. Okay. No. Take it away and do it again now because she did push it. She didn't take it, however, she did push it, so you have to restart the behavior. No. There's a bird right behind you, so. <laughs> Flew away. Take it away, restart. No. That's better. No. Dirt is so much better. All the cramps plus dirt. Great. I need to get to it. You don't put it closer. Good job. Okay. No. No. Restart. And this is not a down stay. This is not any of that. This is just, you can't have something no. that you've been told not to have. And she's goofing around, which is perfectly fine with it. No. We have no worries with her goofing. You gotta get your butt up there to get it. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can just knock it off and I'm not need to. Good God, there is there is a chewy treats everywhere. Good God, that place has a a whole lot of different. Uh, okay. No, the treats are breaking and leaving the parts. All right. Oh, I didn't realize it was already four minutes. Okay. Thank you.
demand increase so that's what she's doing she always touches it so she able to grab it before all that and don't wait for her there. But if she thinks she gets a treat, she'll be a perfect little girl. All right. So next uh we're going to we're going to do this circle. Just try to see if she'll um go away from you. If not, you're going to take all your bag and you're going to put it away. Cuz the dog is attached to that bag. That's all it is. Cuz not work her with um, treats but the come we always do with treats but for this dog we most likely don't have to because very much money oriented what is that called Natalie the materialistic lady <laughs> if you pay me I'll be yours forever <laughs> <laughs> okay, put that bag and leave that bag over because she is not going to leave you alone as long as you have this bag. Maybe not. Well, maybe you do. I still smell some of this treats. I'm telling you. This is... I think she's your number two after the Leona, the English Mastiff that Come. was like that. You don't get any treats. Why? Let's see no. if you're gonna just walk okay. away now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> making the point here, making the point. There you go. Yes, smiley face. Are you gonna hang out with me thinking okay. I have something? <laughs> uh huh. Look, look, look. Well, I don't need you anymore. <laughs> well, how about you? Would you give? <laughs> how about you? Would you give me any food? <laughs> I know. <laughs> no treat. Okay. Well, I mean, she's making she's making the case around here. <laughs> There's still hope. Yeah. There's still a hope. Still it's all right. We'll kill that hope. <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> the 
there was a treat there at some point. Wow. I mean, she is um, in training for four weeks, so yes, she's good, but she's not that good. <laughs> and that's between demanding and it's like, look how good I am. What if I heal with you the whole time? Would you give me stuff? You did it! Another day! <laughs> I remember! Yuppie yep. Well... I don't know, let's go for the third round. <laughs> Actually, my phone can die. I didn't notice something. I didn't notice I have no juice in the phone. Well, let's go as much as we can. Because that made the perfect point here. There you go. You forgetting something? She's like, you're forgetting something? I think, you're, I think you're definitely forgetting something. Alright, let's see if you remember next time. Well, we might have overdid some peeling too, but that's... Alright, the nose is kind of activated. So let's see. After four weeks, they usually really engaged. a general point that she checks in with you it's just a little bit over the top at the moment but uh yeah well Come on, Natalie. <laughs> Who are you kidding? Yourself? Because nobody else is buying this crap. She ain't buying it. I'm not buying it. Nobody's buying it. You on your own. I'm that good. Please give me a treat. Come on, lady. You know the drill. Yeah, Leona was a um, hundred pounds of that. Pretty much her stomach. She couldn't get rid of her if you wanted to. <laughs> That's a good thing, but makes for the crappy cum video. All right, 
Well, see, maybe she'll go for a water bowl or something. There you go. Let her go. Uh-huh. She's like, I ain't going. Treats, lady. Treats. All right. And let her see. And call her. Then you're going to let her go. Nothing works, huh? The dog is perfect. Okay, that's official. Just kidding. Well, okay. can't do anything else. Right? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Natalie, where are you going? <laughs> I thought I could where are you? Away. You're going to sneak away from the girl? Doubt that. Nope. Well, very good um, walking with your video. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the come video, but I guess we're going to try again and see if she leaves us, but uh huh. Well, you shouldn't stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. You should just say C O I M, but don't stop. Oh, she's going to try now. Pathetic attempt number 55. <laughs> nope. Got a tail. All right, well, hope whoever watching this is enjoying it because we're not. <laughs> All right. Bye. I would always do the muzzle um, food. Very good. I would always do the muzzle and practice the muzzle in case we ever need it. If she falls down, that's okay. We're not feeding her yet. Food. She's just way too comfortable, but um, because she's going to be a big girl, um, it's better for everyone if you muzzle her during the vet visits or anything else in case there's something that will be painful or whatever. And uh, it will be just as safer for everyone. Um, so you should be practicing that behavior, food. And, uh, and if that's how she is, that's okay. Who cares? She's goofy. No. And we're just going to wait. So I was almost ready to pull it off, but if she does that, we can't do it. And now we have to wait between the next food as well um, and food. So that will need some practice, like I said, because food, we want to keep her that happy in here. Good job. Boy, you're a good girl. Oh, you're a good girl. I know. Hannibal Lecter is not really, um, it doesn't suit you, yes. Okay, go ahead to food. Good job, and take the collar off. I mean, muzzle. I don't even know what we have. Okay, goofy girl, let's go. I think there's some come out. Yay! Okay. What? Girl. Girl. Okay. Okay. You were going too far in the first time. We're showing actually how we start the behavior, but now you have to keep it that way. The reason why we videotape it is because we're showing the client how to start it with every new place. And that's not how we start it with new place. We do it much more gradually.
Now normally we give priests every other time at this stage and you know we do do we are doing the treats but because she's so codependent on the treats we choose not to use it um, at that stage of the training and we'll talk to you about treat usage in her case it's going to be a little different than the majority of the dogs um i think we i i'm like i I fall asleep, I guess, because <laughs> we just keep going and going. All right, you guys are done. That's important to separate things in time. And there's Natalie over there. Get Dylan around. <laughs> That's okay. Um, the, we, the reason why we separate this um, in time is because we don't want the dog to think that the second you close the door, um, her job is done and she can just get up and go. So by separating those behaviors, um, you are um, making sure that the dog is just waiting for your release, not necessarily for, um, and, and you know, right now, see, we can't release her because she wants to go to see Natalie, and we are not going to release her to see Natalie because she wants to get up. Um, Here, there's something else there. I think she pretended to leave <laughs> already, and now we can release her because now it doesn't matter. Ta da! Who's a good baby? Who's a good baby? Who's a good baby, baby? Who's a good baby, baby? Who's a good baby? Tell her, yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear. Oh, yeah, I did. ah, okay. Huh? 
the baby? Who's the baby? Who's the baby? Drops are dropping off her head. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's a <laughs> muddy and um, yeah, there's drops. Wonderful, yes. He's a good baby. There are some areas that are really yucky after the rain, so sometimes she goes around them, and see, there you go, she's jumped over that yeah. too. There's a very yucky areas there.
and that is something we are not recommending you to practice. Um, come after the stay. Uh, normally, stay represents a promise that you're going to come back to the dog. So that is something that we are starting to do now because she's been here for a while. But we don't recommend you to practice that at all. So when you practice, stay is stay and down is down. Um, so she's going down and she got to stay there. And Terry is going to demonstrate now the proper way that we would like you to actually do this exercise. Just because it creates anticipation and it creates a very... Um, Not stable behavior, this is much better. And of course, because she has been training for a long time, um, she'll be able to do it, but we just don't like the fact that, um, good job, you're gonna actually tell her to next thing to go find you. Um, I'd rather do for you to do this. Come back to her and release her every single time. And then once you go to group classes, once you are very familiar with your equipment, once she's listening uh, greatly to you, then once that's accomplished, absolutely mix and match, do whatever the heck you want, and she'll be fine with all of it. Um, it's just easier on her to accept that command to stay as a... Um, promise for you to come back and release her and that way you'll create a stay even with leaving the site um, you know of the dog and doing all that the only reason we're messing with it is because she has been here for a while so We don't want her to be completely bored with us. Kia. Kia baby. He's a baby baby. Um, it's been going in a 10 minutes now, so just, uh, let's just finish it. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> yeah. Let's just finish it all. Let's just finish it all. Yay! Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby, 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 baby.